In this video, we show you how to assemble the FastColor F1600 XB600 printer from am.co.za. Once unpacked from the box, start with the feet. You will find the necessary screws for each component either already in place on the machine or in the screw box provided. Unscrew the screws and remove. Now put the wheels in place and screw tight. The components are marked either R for right or L for left for easy assembly, so make sure to keep perspective as the build proceeds. Turn upside down and screw the feet to the feet stand. Make sure the lockable wheel is on the side of the position marker. Now move left and right feet away from each other and fit the horizontal beam support between the two. Fasten the screws to secure the beam and the machine now has its length of structure. Now turn the unit the right way up. Secure the take-up roller arm brackets to each leg. But don't tighten completely just yet. Fix the take-up poles in place in the brackets. and now tighten the screws. Next, screw the vinyl roll arm brackets in place. And fix the vinyl roll poles in place in the brackets. Slot the vinyl roller mounting brackets in place on both ends. Use an old vinyl core to measure the placement for the mounting brackets. Be sure that the smaller rings are facing inward so that the eventual vinyl roll will fit correctly. Once done, screw the poles tight with the provided screws. Next, attach the front heater arm brackets. The last parts of the support structure are now screwed onto the top and this is what holds the actual printer in place. It's time to attach the printer. Unwrap and place onto the stand. It takes a little wiggle from both persons to line the screw holes up.
When done, tighten all the supplied screws. And don't forget to remove the transportation arms from the printer. They are only for protection purposes and not needed for operation. Slot the take-up roll-up mounting brackets into place on both ends. Screw poles tight and secure caps in place. Moving to the back of the machine, attach the ink bottle holder and fit the bottles in place. Connect the bottle tops to the ink pipes. Once that's done, remove the protective foam from the front heater unit and fit the unit in the front of the machine. Insert the power cable into the power slot. And finally, fit the ink waste collection bottle with holder. And there you go, your assembly of the main structure is complete. Now the print head must be installed. We strongly advise that for this section you call in our experienced technicians as the process can be quite overwhelming and you don't want to land up damaging the head. Also, if you are going to be using any other ink than eco-solvent ink such as water-based or sublimation ink, the head will need to be sealed with silicone. This is because only eco-solvent ink does not conduct electricity, so please make use of our technicians. You can however find more information on sealing the head on our sorted channel. Now let's move on. Remove the print head cover. and make sure the print head holder can move. As you can see here, it cannot. This is because it is strapped down for travel safety. So open the side cover and remove the strap. Now it is free to move. Switch the power on and test. Let's take a look at the ink tubes now. It's now time to install the ink system. Remove the head from the box and attach the data cables. Those marked with print head go to the print head side and those marked with mainboard go to the mainboard side. Now screw the print head in place. Prepare the colored tubes with K and Y as single tubes. And C and M as double tubes. Attach them to the corresponding extruding pipes on the machine.
and to each of these attach a damper unit. Next, pour the ink into the ink bottles at the back of the machine. And now you can suck the ink into the system. Start with a black single tube. Use a large syringe that you can purchase from a chemist. Press the air out of the syringe before continuing. Soon the ink will come flowing through. Let it enter the damper unit just enough so as not to overflow. Repeat with each color. Attach the damper unit to the print head. With the double tubes, pinch one of the tubes when filling to direct the airflow. Now that all the dampers are full, fit them into the placeholder and when done, start a manual print head cleaning. This will fill the head with ink so that you don't risk damaging the printer by running it dry. Now remove the top head print cover and clip the data cables onto the motherboard. the right side to the right slot labeled right and the left side to the left slot labeled left and finally fix the top cover back in place you are now ready to do a nozzle clean alignment and print test The assembly of your Foscolor F1600 XP600 is now complete. Thank you for watching this video and please remember to call our technical support for any additional information. Once again, we remind you that it is highly advisable that you let our technicians do the head assembly for you and check your main structure assembly at the same time.